right, dogs, you ready? They're really excited. They love snow. Woo! <laughs> I'm not gonna fall. Even though they are both from Taiwan. They're both born in Taiwan. They love snow. Because the snow is fun, especially for dogs. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. This morning, Thursday, the 24th of February, I am just taking the dogs out for a walk right now. We've got a little bit of snow last night. Nothing to uh, be too concerned about. This is a park that we walk in sometimes. It's really beautiful. There's Oolong, and there's Kona. And it's a really nice park. It's got a lot of open space, and there's a community vegetable garden over there on the other side of the field. And there's also a dog park. I do not take my dogs to dog parks. We don't need to do that, and I think dog parks are too unpredictable, far too unpredictable for me to take my dogs there because one time when Kona was little, we took her to this dog park and somebody brought their aggressive dog to the dog park who immediately attacked Kona and chased her around. It was really scary. So that was the end of that. People can't keep their aggressive dogs at home. So unfortunately, too unpredictable to uh, to chance for me. Okay, <laughs> I turned the camera around. Anyway, today I'm doing a little vlog. Uh, it's my dad's birthday, so we are gonna go out tonight and have dinner, celebrate. And I thought I would do a little vlog just because it's almost the end of the month and you know, by February is almost over. And I just wanted to do a quick little check-in, see how everybody's doing. I think I'm doing pretty well. I'm almost getting used to it. You know, I've, almost, I've pretty much, I don't know. I had this habit of just, you know, looking on websites and scrolling around and adding things to my cart. Now, obviously I don't always buy when I do that, but sometimes I would. And sometimes it was, you know, things I had not planned, things I didn't need, things I was influenced to get. I've definitely been as influenced as ever because I haven't quit social media. I haven't, you know, gone off the grid. So, but I've learned to just kind of walk away and close the tab, as they say, and just not go through with it. And I haven't really felt, you know, regret over not buying things that I didn't need this month. So I'm pretty happy <laughs> with how it's gone. Um, so yeah, I wonder if the UPS driver and FedEx driver and on our street has been like noticing <laughs> they haven't come to my house this month. I mean, we've got a couple things. We've got a couple things we've actually needed, but anyway, so there's the community garden. As you can see, there's obviously nothing there. But in the summer, it's gonna be beautiful and filled with uh, flowers and vegetables. I've always kind of wanted to get one of these because our backyard is really shady and uh, I need to look into it because there's full sun up here in this park, which is on top of a hill and it gets plenty of sun. Plus they have, you know, rabbit and deer fencing to keep out the animals eating up all your lettuce. So <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna come back later because I'm gonna go out for coffee. So I will see you then.
I'm at the coffee shop. I just ordered my usual Americano with cream. And let's have a look at the bag of the day. It's the Louis Vuitton Roxbury Drive. Yes, I decided to carry it. Let's see what fits while we're here. I have my mask. I have my keys, my glasses, a Kleenex pack. My wallet fits right in there. Mini pochette. Chanel O case. And that is it. Fits in there. And snaps. Closed. So cute. Yes, I'm doing it. This is the view from the patio at this coffee shop. I've been coming here for many, many years. That's still pretty hot. Day today even though it is really cold I don't know if I'll sit out here for that long just watching the birds and the boats but uh, I'm really ready for winter to be over I woke up this morning and looked outside and saw snow on the ground and I was just like okay <laughs> I'm over it I'm over it. And I know it's only like a dusting of snow, but it's pretty cold. It was like 28 degrees Fahrenheit. I'll put the Celsius up on screen. And I would say now it's about 32, which is zero. I know that, zero Celsius. Um, but I am ready for short sleeves. It feels like it's been, I don't know, six months. I don't know four or five months since then I've been able to wear a t-shirt outside so I'm I'm ready if you've been doing the no spend challenge this month but uh, leave me a comment down below on how it's going for you I have I suppose I've given in a couple times, but not significantly. Like I, I bought a nail polish, but that's because my daughter dropped an open nail polish bottle on the carpet. So I just decided to go get another one. And it was mine, <laughs> it wasn't hers. What else? Uh, I don't know, I got a couple things. Nothing, nothing expensive and um, nothing too frivolous, I hope. But, but I really think it's made a big difference. And as I was saying before, I feel like it's changed some of my habits. And I am now wondering, as we get toward the end of the month, um, what's going to happen in March and April? Um, if I'm going to try to continue, not a no-spend you know, lifestyle, <laughs> but if I'm going to, you know, be a little more mindful with my money <laughs> like Mary <laughs> that was for you Ash by the way um, anyway I think I will I mean because I, I took a look at out my finances and like the difference in my bank account after um, being more mindful and I really like what I saw and so I'm gonna do that but I will say I do have a plan Okay, uh, in March, I don't know exactly when, maybe toward the middle of March or the end of March, I'm gonna go to, change this. I'm gonna go to Seattle and go to Nordstrom. I went, to, I haven't been to Nordstrom since September. I'm gonna go to Nordstrom because I really want to get a couple things for my wish list and I wanna be able to try them on before I buy them. And that is sunglasses and I really want a belt. I need a belt, actually. 
Uh, and I'd like it to be nice. Probably not luxury. I feel like luxury belts are like $500 sometimes, and that's just like too much for a belt. But if you go a little, like, you know, like Tory Burch has really nice belts, and those are more around $200 and a really good quality. So I need a belt, and I want to be able to try it on. I don't, I'm not capable of buying belts online and knowing how they'll fit me or look or anything. So I'm going to do that. I'll take you guys with me. I'm going to do a shopping vlog at Nordstrom, and we're going to look around at everything. I'm really excited for that. Um, I'd love to be able to see some some new bags like in person because I know they have Chanel they have Louis Vuitton though I think you still need an appointment for that one and I'm not going to go into Louis Vuitton anyway but they do have Gucci I think they have YSL and some other high-end brands at this Nordstrom that I'm going to go to so I'll be able to see those in person try stuff on which is really going to help out if I'm going to buy a bag this year I really am tired of shopping online and just hoping that it works for me and then having to make a return half the time. I'm really tired of doing returns. I, um, I really appreciate all the support I'm getting on my channel from you guys. Cars are loud. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm just learning as I go and doing my best and trying to get well I think I'm almost at 50 videos which is awesome um, I read somewhere that you really don't know what you're doing as a youtuber and can really do it with a total um, competence and confidence until you get to 100 videos I don't know if that's true I really don't I mean some people are just born to do it and are naturals at it. So, I mean, <laughs> I still feel kind of self-conscious a lot of the time. But I think I'm more comfortable in vlogs <clears throat> than in my sit-down videos where sometimes I freeze and I'm like, what was I talking about? I don't know. <laughs> um, but here I'm just chit-chatting. So, unfortunately, there's no one around to make me feel weird for talking to my phone. Um, yeah. Let's have one more look at this beautiful bag. I love it. It's just great. Now, they did have a couple of similar um, styles and shapes at Louis Vuitton for this bag in monogram canvas and in epi as well. Uh, and in epi, they have the trico, which styled by Gwenny, she has a trico, which is another kind of east west handle top triangular shaped bag. And there was also the popping court long, which was basically like that shape with different handles. This is the only one that has this kind of oval handle on it, which I just love, and, and, and the snaps too. Those bags don't have snaps, I don't think. I think they are a zipper opening. But yeah, um, if you don't like vernis, but you do like this kind of shape, you think it's cool, look for the Popping Court Long monogram canvas, or the Epi Trico, which is a little harder to find. Um, but those are really neat too. It just reminds me of um, a Toblerone like candy <laughs> I don't know <laughs> so <laughs> alright I'm going to wrap this up thanks for watching today um, my next video is going to be a uh, February favorites and uh, all the stuff I really liked and enjoyed in the month of February when I was not luxury shopping and that's going to come out March the 1st, so please subscribe and hit the notification bell if you'd like to know when that is live. And then I'm also, of course, doing the No Spend, No Buy February collaboration wrap-up video, which we have scheduled for March the 6th. Everybody who's doing that collab is going to post their video on that day, and we will all talk about our experiences with this challenge. 
and how it went and what we learned and how we did. All right, um, my fingers are getting really cold, so I'm going to say goodbye now, but thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.